we are back for the third food plot update so let's get to it Alright guys, welcome back. So we are at update three already. Man, the summer is flying by. So let's do this uh, corn update first and we'll get to the soybeans and the test plot here in a sec. So just wanted to give you guys a rough overview on soil conditions and weather because I think that's really important um, when looking at how this corn is doing and how it's been progressing through the year. So first off, uh, pH on the soil is about 6.8 to start the year. Um, then uh, soil tests and everything. Everything looked pretty good. We fertilized it a little bit. Uh, the neighbor next door who farms our ground was nice enough to come in and hit this with um, some anhydrous when he was doing his corn here. So uh, he did that. Then I came in a couple weeks afterwards. I think it might have been three weeks. Put some, you know, nitrogen on it. Give it that little bit of a boost. And then since the last update, we have had just a great amount of rain like it has been just amazing the amount of rain we've had which I think was a key factor in how this is uh, progressing and how it's doing so far so you're uh, you know here in southern Michigan the average amount of rain we would see in uh, you know June and July is about three to four inches for each month on average um, now you know this summer we've seen six to eight ten inches in each of them months so you know doubling sometimes tripling the amount the average amount of rain we would see in a summer so um which is why you know this this corn here is probably seven feet tall eight feet tall and uh probably the main reason why it's it's been putting on ears it's everything's tasseled um everything is looking real real nice it's uh august 1st so still plenty of time to grow you know a matter of a couple feet you know the ears are making a pretty big difference that's you know probably pushing 10 inch ear there um some nicer ones there so this outside row is, is doing you know fairly well now you go inside and since this corn is planted so close you can just tell how dark it gets in here now it's still putting on plenty of ears which is uh pretty amazing i didn't think that was going to happen um but it's still uh looking pretty good all things considering all right now we're in the center of the plot right here and um this is where the corn was planted uh about every four to five inches it was spaced out a little bit more than the last six rows i just showed you so um obviously putting on plenty of ears here um the ears look a little bit better a little bit longer a little bit thicker um this is my scrape post i'm probably gonna cut some of this corn out around it so i can put my my tree branches in there but um as you can see it's doing absolutely phenomenal with uh, all things considering plenty of ears on this corn um and the plants are looking healthy everything's looking good now let's go about 20 rows over and I want to show you guys, kind of give you a comparison to what the farmer planted compared to how close this is. And we'll do some ear comparisons and stuff like that. Give you guys a rough idea of the differences in the two. All right, so here we are. The farmer's corn on the left, food plot corn on the right. Let's take one of the ears from the second row in each field here, or plot. So here's one ear from his and we'll set this down on the ground now let's just grab this guy. so food plot corn on the right farmer's corn on the left and that's your difference right there um both these fields were fertilized both fields had the same amount of rain but corn that's planted the correct way spacing here corn that's planted close that's what you're looking at and you know this is a pretty big year i mean i my hands probably seven eight inches so that's pretty big i mean still have a pretty decent ear right now as is and um i don't know if i mentioned but this field tasseled about i would say two weeks ago and my mine was tasseling about a week behind even though they were planted the exact same date so 
that's a pretty good thing to think about. So my ears are just a little bit behind in growing um, as far as, uh, you know, the total growing season. So mine's just a little bit farther behind, but I'm thinking I'm going to have, you know, at least have something as far as the food plot goes. So um, I'm going to get on the other side here, we'll go check out the soybeans and then we'll go check out the uh, um, test plot. All right, now on to the soybeans here. This was probably the one that threw me for the biggest loop. I think the first update, um, these were looking really bad. I told you I was probably going to have to replant them. Second update, looking a little better. And now, I mean, definitely going to have a soybean crop. It's not going to be optimal by no means, but um, they're, they're bushing out pretty well. It's, you know, August 1st, of course. And um, the deer are finally starting to leave these alone. Uh, we've had a couple fields up uh, around the area that finally started coming up and took the pressure off of this. I think what I'm gonna do is, see these rows are spaced pretty wide, 30 inches, and because the beans were eaten on, they didn't have time to fill in them voids. So I'm gonna come in here with some winter rye here, uh, first of September, second or first or second week of September and spread that rye and uh, really give it another uh, food source for in these beans and it should fill in all these voids real nice. So um, beans are looking a lot better. Like I said, with the corn, plenty of rain, fertilized them plenty. So they're coming back and uh, we should be okay on that front. All right, so let's get in here. This is a, a pretty open area. So the soybeans look really good through here. Um, the corn's doing absolutely phenomenal in here. Plenty of sunlight getting to this corn. Ears are looking awesome. Um, let's look down this row here. And uh, you could tell, I mean, the soybeans are doing pretty darn well. It's, it's a little bit shaded, um, but they're doing just about as well as the soybeans are in the main field. Maybe a little better because they weren't browsed on so heavy. Um, definitely might lack the pods i think i mean i can already tell there's quite there's quite a few flowers on them but not like what i'll probably have out there uh just because i think they're trying to compete with the corn putting a little bit more effort toward the plant growth trying to get them nice and tall and you know get to that sunlight um so overall not looking too bad i i don't know we'll see how the next month progresses as far as you know, if I would recommend this method. I mean, the corn is doing great. Uh, I just think the soybeans are gonna lack a little bit as far as pod production and, and stuff like that. All right, guys, well, that's gonna wrap it up today. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. And if there's anything you guys wanna know, any questions, please leave it in the comment section down below. I'm gonna have one more update, uh, probably toward the end of September, we'll see, uh, how big them ears end up getting. We'll see how many pods we have on the soybeans and then that's gonna do it for the year. Uh, we'll be hunting them big bucks and getting after it. So, uh, like I said, guys, appreciate everything. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.